Hello and welcome for this week's soap preview. Today I have another <coughs> small American artisan hobbyist soap maker. It's called uh, Talbo Shaving. I got this sample from my friend. And uh, it's Mont Ventoux is the name of the soap. It's a lavender and rosemary scented soap. And uh, it's a creamy quite strong scent of lavender. I cannot sense the, the rosemary at all actually. This is a sample so I squeezed out a bit of it here in my scuttle and we will whip it up here together. I probably load it in the scuttle and face leather. I will do it with a Miller brush. And uh, it was a long time I used my uh, Dilat Slim. 1967 rhodium plated and uh, even longer since I used a blade that I uh, considered being one of my favorite blades. Uh, I have not shaved with this blade for I think it's a year and it will be very very interesting to see if I still today think it's one of the best blades. Uh, we finish off with Humphreys. This soap is um, very hard to get. Uh, they sold out immediately every time he make a few batches. Um, he has an Etsy page, um, but there was nothing for sale there now. Unfortunately, I don't know the cost of this soap, but he sells uh, the splash and the soap combined on uh, a website. I forgot what its what the name was now. It's an American website anyway, shaving site for 33.50 so I imagine the soap is around maybe 18 dollars or something um, it's all natural ingredients uh, but it's fragrance so it's not essential oils but otherwise it's very good uh, ingredients in this soap it's shea butter, a lot of oils and the good things for the skin so uh, it will be very interesting to try this soap. Talbo Shaving uh, is the name of the um, Facebook website also of this soap maker. You can look him, up, look him up there. So without further ado, we start to shave and wet the brush. This is by the way my 21mm synthetic Mule, the first brush I ever bought. And it's still very good. I don't think I need a bigger brush than this, actually. It's been very warm here, uh, strange enough, because it's so late in August. We had uh, 30 de degrees for two days in a row now. And it will be like 28 tomorrow. <coughs> I've been down in man cold last week and over the weekend so I'm finally feeling a little bit better today so I'm going to work tomorrow I have uh, three days of growth here I think we have a nice load here. <coughs> I put off my glasses here If you remember the shave when I shaved with a PAL single edge blade and um, then had to change to the gem blue star blade because the PAL blade was so bad. That new gem blade that I took for that shave worked perfectly but uh, imagine my surprise when I returned to the blade for the second use and it was so tuggy I could not use it and that makes me wonder what the heck is going on because the previous blade I had um, John Blue Star Blade gave me six good shaves so I wonder if the quality control is so incredible bad I'm very scared almost to try a new blade now. I have not done that yet, but I hope they will not be the same because what I'm gonna do then. Uh, 
I don't know if I overload times thousand or something, but this soap is very, very danced. How could I load so much soap so quickly? We have to add an ocean of water here. By the way, something else strange happened. In my last video when I played uh, Iron Maiden, it was not so... You could hear it, but immediately after I had released that video, I got a mail from copyright claims. I didn't have to remove the video, but I had to accept uh, commercial on that video. So if you for some reason click on that video, None of that money goes to me, of course, because I have don't earn anything on this. Look at this ladder. Uh, this is a fantastic ladder, and it's an incredible good face feel so far. You can really feel that this soap reacts with your face. I think this will be enough. Sun strength is about a little bit above medium actually. Very pleasant scent. I don't say that lavender is my favorite scent, but it's a very very good scent. Here we go, first pass. This is, by the way, on Satin 9. Little bit inspired by Jeffrey Smith, who shaved a whole week on Satin 9 with his Gillette Slim. He did it three pass shave every day. On setting nine, I bet he was very, very clean shaven because this razor is quite effective on setting nine. Very effective. And I also got another interesting mail, or not? It was from a company. I try to earn money on YouTubers with few subscribers and um, they said they could help me get more subscribers, more likes and more everything. For a fee, of course, but um, they didn't say in the mail what the fee was. And uh, of course, I'm not interested in that because I'm not here to make any money. So I very kindly replied back that they could fuck themselves. <clears throat> but uh, this mail got me wonder a bit because I have seen some channels grown very very rapidly 
without reason because they are quite lousy channels so I think this company or companies have a nice business there <coughs> however I'm not interested in that I find it extremely childish It was a very nice first patch. The soap performs very well. Unfortunately, I got soap all over the handle now. I can feel I have a thick layer on my skin with oils. And it's a very pleasant feeling. Excuse me, I must raise my hand properly now. We have to dial this one down also here. I don't see anything. I'll take it down four notches, it should be on five then I hope. I cannot even tighten this screw here at the end because my hands are so slick from the soap. Here we go. Jesus, the first pass took almost everything away. blade performs very well. This feels like nothing on my skin. I must check my settings here. Maybe it's not fine. No, it's fine, but it feels very, very mild. I dial it up to seven. I know this, uh, remember this blade being a very uh, sharp and smooth blade and maybe that's why I don't feel the blade at all. Or maybe because the soap is incredibly slick. Yes, it is. Enormous residual slickness in this soap. Lovely. I think I stay on seven the next pass two. Feels very nice in the skin. I can already now say that this is one of the better soaps right up there, top notch soap. It's a very nice feeling on the skin with this thick layer of oil and butter. And it's extremely slick.
this Dorby blade doesn't make it worse, it makes it probably even better. It's as good as I remember it. If you flash, see this video, I uh, really hope you and your mom get better, even if we are not friends in real life or what you can call it, we are friends here on YouTube and it feels very strange seeing someone you followed for a long time and this video. Hopefully you'll be back soon. Well again. Let's see where we are. Take just water on here. Let's see if we can as usual here on the neck, but I don't need to be BBS today. I think we are happy so I'm gonna rinse and I'll be back in a second. So also with this soap there is no need for any aftershave uh, balm or anything because the soap itself contains so many moisturizing ingredients for the skin. Just take some Humphreys here. The bottle that never dies. Over a year I had this. Well, I don't shave every day, I shave every three times a week, something. So, very, very good shave and um, indeed a fantastic soap. I can understand that it sells out immediately when he releases a new batch. Very, very good soap. Um, a big question mark for the price though, I have no clue. Uh, but I would say that 20 bucks for a, a soap with no essential oils I would not pay. But hopefully it's a bit cheaper than that, I don't know. Anyway, a top-notch soap, one of the among the best I have tested. Fantastic face feel and great leather and incredible slickness. Very good soap indeed. Thank you so much for watching and if you have uh, any questions or want to say something write them below take care out there and thank you for watching bye bye